Hello and welcome to another Arkies video and to a new daily race A on Gran Turismo 7. This time we are at Lake Louise, one of the short layouts, and we are in the Lancia Stratos, uh, the rally legend from the 1970s, although this is a road car version of that car. This is a fun little combo, but unfortunately I heard rumors that wall ride exploits are a possibility in this one, so that certainly cools down the excitement a bit. But either way, I had a fun morning. I did three races, two races in normal flat screen and a final race in VR. Certainly contained a bit of everything. And before we get started, let me just mention that if this is your first time watching and you are enjoying the content, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. It is highly appreciated. Now let's jump into the first race. And as per tradition, this is the first available race of the week. We've got Chicken Angel in pole position. I'm starting from the back. I haven't set a qualifying time yet. I was struggling a bit at first to get used to this car. Uh, it is very short wheelbase and only rear wheel drive. So it can be tricky not to get too sideways and too slidey and just in general keep the right direction going on this one. I'm going for the inside line. It's not the fastest line, but it was the safest line for this first corner. Uh, we've got cars around me here. Uh, we still survived this one. It's getting a bit tight, a bit of contact with Dev there. Sorry about that. It wasn't intentional. Uh, and we've got a bit more pinball going on. I might have caused a slight bit of that, but we carry on, keep it going. Can I find the right way around this driver? No, we just stay behind. Now we are coming up towards the final long corner on this short lap, and you are supposed to use the banking at the start of the corner. I'm just going for the inside line. I don't know better at the moment. Unfortunately, there is a slight bit of contact with Dev once again on the exit. That wasn't intentional. It's uh, tricky to just keep this car in a straight line. Now we are coming into the first corner again. We've got this blue car flying past. Luckily, they ghost out in front of me, so uh, no collisions there. We managed to carry on and we've got a lot of uh, ping pong going on in the rear view mirror there. Now we're coming through this uh, corner section and uh, that wall on the outside, on the right hand side there. I hit that so many times. Not this time though. I have uh, been closing in on the Polish driver. They get a poor exit and a penalty as well. So we are going past. Now we are up into P3. But you can see we've got the leaders far, far ahead. And this is lap four. And now we've got a proper brain fart coming in. I smash into that wall for the first time, but certainly not for the last time. So I have to serve my penalty, but I keep a position, though I've got a gap to the Polish driver behind me. But we have jumped straight to the end of the race. I never got even close to the leaders in this one. So we better just get out of this and get straight into a qualifying session to see if I can set some sort of lap before the second race starts. Now we are up into P3 and let's see what we can do in this one. But as we are starting the race, it looked like Chicken Angel got a poor run off the start line there. So we are straight up into P2. And uh, now I will try to take the white line through turn one. But watch out as we are coming into this corner. Now we've got a fellow Dane, a really good contender for the Scandinavian Binning Championship trophy there, straight into the wall. And uh, I am straight into the back of the French driver in P1 as they made a mistake. That could actually have been the lead for me, but I just couldn't avoid them. Meanwhile, let's have a look at Chicken Angel's start and turn one. Clearly struggling to get the power down, so slowly but surely getting all swallowed up by the pack. Trying to go for the outside line, but chaos will unfold right in front of Chicken Angel, who's trying to make their way through. Unfortunately, there is some contact with some drivers on the exit there and watch as Chick Nancy decides to just pull over to the side and just let everyone past. Caught someone by surprise there, but just pulled over and decided to try all over again. I am struggling to find my way through that uh, right to left hand corner uh, and Nath 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 is pulling away already. I just need to see if I can stay clear of the drivers behind. I'm trying to find the high line on this one. I might be in a wrong gear as well, 
uh, but maybe I will learn it at some point. Let's go check on Chicken Angel. Now Chicken Angel is coming through turn one for the second time and watch all that ping pong going on in front. Cars flying everywhere in all sorts of directions and uh, all of a sudden we've got Chicken Angel up into P5 again already. We are jumping back to our race and now I am trying to use some of the banking on the outside at least for the first part of this corner. It is a bit tricky also to find the right point to get the car turned in for the exit uh, but at least we didn't end up in a wall and uh, just carry on. We've got the Polish driver a fair bit behind me and uh, Nath Nath is just pulling away and now I am about to reclaim my Binning Championship trophy straight into the wall. One and a half second penalty for me and we are staying on board for a bit because now I've got the Polish driver right behind me. Have to look out for where they are going as well. We are coming up towards the final corner. I am going for the high line for the first part of the corner and somewhere I've got the Polish driver. I cannot really see where they are but it turns out they are right next to me there they are and uh, we managed to stay ahead but it doesn't really matter i've got that penalty to serve so the police driver is going straight through my car there and we are jumping ahead now we are on lap five chicken angel is catching up to all of us now and uh, i am trying to make my way around the corner i failed to find the high line there and you can see the exit speed is just really slow and now through this right to left hander we've got chicken angel right behind i am getting a sort of weird line through there certainly not the fastest chicken angel is all over my rear bumper there so i just need to stay focused we managed to stay ahead for now coming up towards the final corner searching for the high line at the entry can i get the car turned in not really it's a bit tricky to find the right spot to get the car rotated on this bumpy track but we are gaining massively on the Polish driver so now we are up into P2 let's just see if we can survive this we actually did survive this we have jumped to the end of the race we managed to stay in P2 and uh, we are going across the line and now I think it's time to test out the VR because that's usually fun when you're doing these rally circuits with all that sideways driving so hang on for a moment and we are ready in the VR headset still uh, P3 on the grid and uh, this time I get the poor start and I was also fiddling around I thought I turned off traction control I didn't going back again finding the radar losing time and now we are coming into the first corner I'm just trying to stay where I am we've got a car on the inside then I get hit onto the banking and then I get hit once again and for the final time I get hit once again by the other Danish driver there. We've got plenty of penalties ahead so if I can just survive for a bit more we are going to get those positions back. Now we've got chaos going on, people driving into walls. I'm just trying to find my way through and uh, certainly a bit hectic being in VR got great visibility ahead but it's still tricky to see to your sides what's going on now we are coming around this corner can I get the car turned in in time I think yeah we've got someone luckily ghosting in front of me there and uh, yeah we gained some positions back and uh, certainly a chaotic first lap now we are going to jump ahead a bit in this one and uh, we are at the end of lap two. Chicken Angel has been serving a penalty, so we are getting past. Now we are coming into turn one, searching for, no, I thought I was going to search for the high line. Yeah, I am going to try to find the high line because there's most traction for the exit up there. But this was a clumsy attempt. And uh, now I get caught out by surprise by another car on my inside. And now I'm going to lean so much that I lean into another dimension. I have been falling for 30 minutes. All right, bye-bye. 
Jesus Christ, that was uncomfortable. But I'm back on the track with the one and a half second penalty that I need to serve later. And I've got another driver on the radar close behind me. Now can I just make my way around the final corner, uh, looking for the outside banking, uh, trying to make the most of it. A lot of bullets out here as well. We've got the Greek driver uh, actually getting past on the inside, so that certainly wasn't the fastest line for me in this uh, case. But uh, we are serving the penalty and we are also going to jump ahead in this one. And after some lonely driving, now I can see Chicken Angel up ahead. And uh, Chicken Angel is going to pay a visit to my favorite wall on this track. I almost lean into another dimension again. We can hear Chicken Angel uh, honking their horn uh, in pure annoyance over their own penalty there. So we just have to stay with them the best we can now for the final corner. And uh, believe me, this isn't over yet because I could easily end up in a wall myself. We've got uh, another driver up ahead taking a weird line through that corner. Um, but I think I am only going to gain a single position as I go past Chicken Angel who is blasting the horn. And we are going across the line in this final race in P4. Uh, a fun little race, that's for sure. Uh, too bad about the wall riding, but either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.